daughter, I'm a sister, I'm a mother, I'm a mortician too. I'm 26 years old. I've been working in the funeral industry for nine years now. Let me say, this is my passion. Na, I wanted to be in a medical field. Na si kupata iyo nini, iyo chance ya kusomea udaktari, juu siku watu kukua na pesa, but it passed very well. So, nikaona this is the best cause I can do. Venye nilimaliza form four, kukua mortician, hii ndiyo cause ya kwanza nilifanya. But I never thought kama kuna cause kama hii ya kukua mortician, ama to work in the funeral industry. Si kufikiria watu wana, wana someanga hii cause. So, I wanted to be a nurse at first. Lakini due to some financial issues, sikuweza na siku manage kukua nurse ama kuda kusomea hiyo cause. So, nikakua kuna mtu mwenye alikuwa priest in our church. Akakuja, akaniambia kuna cause inaitwa mortuary science na inaweza somea waiting kupata pesa ni somea hiyo nurse. Lakini venye niliambia watu wangu, mom, my sisters, my brothers walikata, walisema hawezi kuwa na mtu anafanya kwa mochari, kwa familia. So I think na nijue kama that is the cause that I want to do. Yeah. Nikaka, tukaf, nikafikilia, nikaona this is the best juu iko medical in, in the medical field. Yeah, so nikaona sitakuwa nimepotea sana. Over the years wamekuja kama sasa wana nikubali na wanakubali nafanya kazi kwa mochari. But at first nikianzia hata siku nataka kuambia hata my cousins kwenye nafanya kazi. Nilikuwa tunaiweka kama nimeficha. Lakini mam alikumbali. Juariona sasa hiyo tu ndio imeniingia kwa akili. Nimekuwa tu obsessed na hiyo kitu nataka kufanya kufanya kazi kwa mochari. Sasa nikaingia with time wakakuja sasa wakaita wakasia kusema niko daktari mimi nafanya kazi kama daktari lakini hawajui nafanya kwa mochari. Yeah. Lakini sasa saizi wako tu sawa. Hata wanakuja kunitembelea kwa mochari. Mimi nikiamka asubuhi naomba Mungu sana ani saidie ani protect ani linde kwa siku juu pass through me ni charges ya waki na za mutation na mawaki in the feudal industry unapatana unaweza patana na accident mingi sana mm. so nikiamka nikiona siku imekuwa successful sija kuwa na injury yoyote nimekuwa tu mzima na shukuru Mungu okay mwili kiletwa kwa mochari you do tunaanzia kutarisha for bario so kitu ya kwanza mwili ikiingia hapa tuna disinfect mwili kwanza alafu tuna confirm death kama hiyo mwili imekufa juu kuna watu wengine unapata maybe mtu alikuwa ina coma so we confirm death after disinfection juu mwili inaweza kuwa na some maugojwa tu so tuna disinfect pia sisi kuje protect so tuki disinfect mwili tuna hiacha for some time kama 2 hours hivyo alafu tuna massage mwili vizuri tunaanzia kuweka dawa client sana sana wanaletwa mimi na has wanaletwa na private cars naenda na chuku, na kuja na chukua trolley kama hii ni trolley ya admission naenda nayo kwanza i see na observe kwenye familia wako juu kuna different grieving ya watu yani kuna watu wana grief tofauti tofauti so lazima ni observe wana grieve aje alafu ni waongeleshe vizuri before ni chukue mwili lazima ni waongeleshe kama wako na barua za hospitali za chief hivyo lazima nikijua wako na hizo barua before ni chukue mwili lazima kwanza ni wakalishe mahali tuongee na wao kidogo alafu sasa ni kuja ni tusaidiane na wao kuwekelea mwili kwa trolley after kuwekelea mwili kwa trolley huwa na label hiyo mwili na ipea identification tag after reborn the body na kuja nayo sasa familia tume achana nao wanaingia kwa reception kuna mtu mwingine anakuwa kwa reception mimi nakuja na mwili kitu ya kwanza nikikuja hapa na mwili nafanya fumigation ama disinfectant na yacha for some time after confirming death sasa na ipea kama 2 hours 3 hours na kuja na osha mwili na eka ndawa nafanya kama ni massage mwili ikae straight nafanya massage nafunga macho nafunga mdomo hizo vitu zote mwili ikitoka hapa niki, mwili ikiingia kwa fridge hakuna kazi nyingine nitaifanyia itakuwa mwili ni safi imefunga amefunga macho amefunga mdomo mwili iko perfect Mm, waiting for dispatch sasa in a day naweza pata kuna siku sijapokea mwili unaweza pata kuna siku nimepokea kama watu watano nimepokea kama watu wa kumi. Yeah. the reason as to why nimeamua kushare these videos ama kazi yenye nafanya in tiktok ama social media nataka kubadilisha 
ile mambo watu wamekuwa wakifikiria kuhusu watu wenye wanafanya kazi kwa mochari. Wamekuwa wakifikiria wenye wanafanya kazi kwa mochari maybe ni watu wachafu, watu wa wajielewi. So nataka kubadilisha hiyo kitu na watu wajue kukuwa motisha ni za course like any other course. Watu wengine wanaona kitu wenye nafanya ni mzuri, nchu inawasaidia pia kusoma na kutoa hiyo mambo wenye wakimekua kifikilia. Wengine wanatuprovoke, wanasema, why are you putting this thing in social media? Unafaa, unafaa kujieke hizo mambo kwa mocha liju. Kukua ina mocha li pia, tunakuwa ni kama wame tu neglate. Unachukua sore, unatoa mwili kutoka kwa cabinets, yenye unataka kuvarisha. Na remember, you must... Lazima uangarie tag vizuri. Lazima uangarie hizo tags vizuri. Usije uka confuse. Kuna wengine unapata mtu anatembea hapa kama ni mara ya kwanza na pia ataki kuingia. Akisikia tu hapa dani kuna mwili ataki kuingia. Anapotea sana. Lakini mi, I want to make the community understand that mocha rezi mebadilika. Mm. Sijai pata nightmare. Sijai fikiria ta. Nikitoka tu kwa gate, mambo ya mocha rinaishia kwa gate. Waki na funeral industry imefanya nipoteze marafiki wengi sana. Mtu wakisikia wanafanya kazi kwa mocha rimebi ya alikuwa lafiki yangu, anahepa tu, adama ananyamaza tu, kimpikia simu, umpati. Lakini wanakuambia ama kwa mebi ni kwa chama, sisi wa mama uwa tukona chama, tunaenda chama, watu wanasikia we unafanya kazi kwa mocha ri. Wanakuangaria na ango ingine mebi uyu mama ni mchafu, hata tudetea uchafu ya mocha ri kwa chama, kwa group, hivo. Lakini it has been ajani na kustragu bina usain there. Kwa familia, as I said, I'm a mother, and behind everybody, kama ni mama, kuna mtu, nili tulijuana nikiwa hapa, nikifanya kazi kwa mochari. So, haku kuwa na yoma mpoti ya uoga. Lakini haku taka watu wake wa nyumba, wanjue nafanya kazi kwa mochari. Halikuwa tuna anaificha. Anasema huyu ni daktari, lakini ataki kusema nafanya kazi wapi. I'm 26 years old, I'm still young. Na kitu nye nafanya, nataka kwa advance. Kama iko, nikianzia iku wanga na diploma, iku wanga ilikuwa tu certificate peke yake. So I want to advance, nisome diploma imeanzia this year. Nataka nisome diploma. In any case, kama nitakuwa stable financially, na izataka kuanzia mochari yangu. Yeah. Ije nitakuwa nasema this is Philinda's na the services I'm giving there, nizenye najua na nizenye napeana kwa community. Saizi mochari science, watu wengi wanachagua. The, and most probably ni watu wadogo, the youths, lika yangu. Unapata mtu wamekuja na kwambia, nataka kusomea hiyo course. Wamekua wengi, wengi wapia wananipikianga masemu, ni wangaidu wenye watanzia. Kitu wenye naezataka kuambia, this is the best. Ebu ni seme, it is the best course, judi onafanya. Siyezi sema course ingine is the best, nasifani. This is the best course. This is the best work yenye mtu wanaezafanya. Au subwani na mtu, wendi una fikiria venye utafanya, na wendi unafikiria sasa venye utafanya. Nisha ipata student, wanakuja for internship hapa, ama mtu wanataka kuji, kuj, kujitoa yo uoka ili yaende shule. Wengine na wambianga kama hiyo kitu si passion yako kufanya kazi kwa mochari. Kwanza kuja, uzoe kama wiki moja ama mbili, alafu, uende usome. Njunaiza enda ulipe school, school fees na tunalipa school fees up front, alafu, ukua ukona uoka upote. So, kuna wengine nimepitia wengi, wanakuja, two days, mtu wata anatapika, anasema I can't cope working in the funeral home, wanasema wamekua kiota, wakikimbizo na watu usiku. <laughs> yeah. Lakini tu ni uonga, ni nightmares. Njuna kubuka hata mimi nikisoma, in, nikisomea chiromo, nilienda kutoa mwili kwa cabinets, ilikuwa ya juu, lakini tulikuwa wawili. Mbati mbaya, Mwili, nini ikakuwa liko na breakdown, hiyo truri. Mwili ikatuangukia. Mi nilihepa, nikifikiria mwili ameamuka. Hiyo kitu ni traumatize karibu iki mzima. So, kama singe kuwa nimelipa school fees up front, singe soma tena. Wasichana wengi wanapenda sana kufanya, wameamua sasa kukuja kwa industry sana. Nju... Ni kazi yenye utashinda ukisumbuana na mtu. Na ni kazi yenye una, ukifanya kazi unapata pesa ya mikono yako yenye umefanya kazi. So wasichana wengi badale ya kukaa maybe umefanya kosi fulani ya ina ujaeda maari. Wanaamua wakuje wafanya mochari science na ikosawa wameenda fa. My favorite meal ni ugari na nyama. Yeah, that is the best. <laughs> The message to the public ni watuwa iyo, iyo mafikra wanakuanga wametuwekea kwa akili, moticians, wanafanya kazi ni, wamba, ni wachafu. 
watupe hiyo chance pia tupeane wa nasema wa objectives ama wa work to the community watupe hiyo chance kama ni kwa kama vile nurses wamekuwa wanakuwa wamepewa hiyo chance pia sisi tuonyeshane ma, ma venye tunafanya kazi